now that it's happening, I just, I can't believe it. Like, this is insane. I hope that I can turn this car into a poster and then kids can have this poster on their wall and think about what you can do if you set your mind to it. Say hello to my 1986 Porsche Carrera 911 3.2. And thanks to my friends at Summit Racing, that air cooled out of here. That's right, Porsche purists. I'm gonna make myself a hot rod because I'm taking it to the Kenwood Rod Shop. Oh, I forgot to mention too, we're going RWB. That's right, Rotwell Bear Griff, all of this on my project. I can't believe it. When Rutt came in with the RWB build, I thought, you have got to be kidding. I mean, another project like this that I have never heard of or never even thought about, I said, of course, man, whatever you want, bring it on, let's get it. There's all these different phases and uh, Kenwood Rod Shop has been working their tails off to try to get so much of this done because I've never given them the adequate amount of time to build anything, so why start now? But it's bonkers to think that I drove this car in with an air-cooled six in the back. And when I leave, it'll be a water-cooled V8 pushing 525 horsepower. Pretty bananas. The fun thing is my friends at Continental uh, thought I was crazy for wanting to build a hot rod Porsche with a Chevy LS in the back. But my friends at Summit Racing did not think I was crazy and said, yeah, let's do it. I want to say it's okay that the car has an LS3 in it, only because it's Rutt's car. It's the only, only reason. I was one of those kids in the 80s that I had two posters on my wall. One was a Lamborghini Countach and the other was a Porsche 911. Yeah, I had a few posters of cars on my wall growing up and one of them definitely was a Porsche 911. Growing up, I had a, a poster of RJ um, EK Hatch on my wall and uh, I think it was like Francine D was the car model for that poster. There had to be girls. <laughs> there had to be girls. Now at the time, I didn't know that a Japanese artist like Akira Nakai could reimagine this car. Nakai, he, you know, he, he's an artist. He created this, the RWB on the Porsches because his love for Porsche and racing. So Nakai races in Japan a lot and he wanted a, more tire underneath the car because it'll handle better. So he built this and everybody fell in love with it all over the world. So, this is so, I know, my love for the world, 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 that's how his art is, to, it's not just one of those just throw on kits or anything like that. It was awesome to see him at work and, and doing the things that he does. It's things that are just special. The way he uses the tools, he's a perfectionist and it's awesome to just watch it. What's cool for me is when I look around the room and I see a bunch of my friends in here, you know, that's, that to me is very indicative of how this all happened. You know, my friend Mark Arsenal brought Nakai San to the U.S. to build his first RWB Pandora 1, which was uh, so cool, and Mark is how I'm able to, to do this build. I got in touch with Alex from RWB LA. He was super helpful, and he kind of guided me through the whole build process. Luckily, I had uh, Christian Kujin come and, you know, mentor me on my build. Uh, we flew to California. It was actually built at Mark's shop. It was just me, my dad, Mark, and Nakai. And I'd seen the cars before, but never been around the build. Then when you see Nakai actually building the car, it's obviously a whole nother experience. Christian said, hey, do you know Rutledge? And I was like, Rutledge from Top Gear? Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's, I invited him to your build. Is that okay? I was like, yeah, sure, you know. I'm glad he made that happen and joined the family. If there's one thing that reigns true for me, it's that these kind of things don't happen without friends, whether it's your build partners, 
my friends that have come by the shop and helped Randy, uh, my friends that helped me make the RWB date happen, everything, like it's all, like this is this is a like, crowd of people that have built this car. I'm lucky enough to own it, but it's it's got a lot of blood, sweat, and tears from a lot of other people. And that's what I think that RWB has done, is more than the cars brought people together. And the fact that I grew up with a poster on my wall of a 911, and there's a chance that some kid is going to have a poster of my 911 on their wall now, is the craziest thing in the world to me. Seeing Guy and his son bring that little model car in that they made at home, and, and then them present that to Rut, that's just awesome. My son and I used to do that 40 years ago. It's my car. My friend Guy and his son Brody built that for me. Look at look at the tiny window banner. Hey guys. There's only one of those in the world and you guys made it. That's way that cool. cool. Thank you. I never thought about it that way. Pretty wild, right? Mm -hmm. The wildest part is that I had this dream to make this and you and your dad made it for me. Because that's really what I want. I want to have like a real life car that looked like a Hot Wheels that I could drive wherever I wanted. I should have just called y'all. It would have been a lot cheaper. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> when the Kaisan was putting the decal across the windshield, that was just a, a feeling of just sheer respect and just watching an artist sign a painting. You know, it was just, anybody could be doing what he's doing, but to have him here doing it, it's like watching Picasso do a painting in your own home. It, it's just a special deal. And it was awesome to watch him just pull that paper off hey. and, and just so put much. the final touch Thank on it. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, say something, how do you feel it? Yeah. Right, feel great, how cool is that? So, nikai -san's done. We're gonna finish this thing up and uh, go show it off to all my friends at Continental Tire. It's crazy. All my friends helped make this happen, I can't believe it. Got an RWD. That's my boat. We did it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Randy. Thank you. exactly what I did. And I get why the purists don't like this stuff, but I didn't like them before and I won't like them after this. So I'm not gonna lose any sleep over those people anyway, right? Full is empty, empty's full. So if the gas tank reads empty, it's full. But if it reads full, I'm in trouble. And I'm not talented enough to build it. So I'll quit talking, we'll get back to work. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? Yes. That's awesome, that's really nice when everything works the way it's supposed to. Yesterday I, I lost that latch for about 20 minutes. Oh no. You know people used to keep those woven things by their bed with the feathers in their beads, right? To, it was a dream catcher. Brandy's my dream catcher. He just tur he turns them into reality. How that's can what I he does. sleep and drive? When my dad first got his Acura Legend, yeah. I used to actually tell my dad I was gonna wash the car, he'd take a nap. 
and I would take the car around the neighborhood. Yeah, and uh, play Outcast. Can't do anything to help? Okay. Just hang out. It's usually what they tell me here. I mean, I love cars, but I can also, I can also mess them up pretty good. It's like one day I had an orange, and the next day I was holding an orange Julius. And if you grew up in malls in the 80s, that'll really resonate. If you're a kid, they used to have these, these places in the mall where you would get essentially like a creamsicle, and it, was, it would change your life, it was amazing.